Good morning. It's a snowy morning up here in Tehachapi. And I'm going to do a little video on what we do for colic prevention for our horses. As you see, it's cold out here. Things freeze over. And we love these guys. So here's what I do. I get hot water, first of all. Put it in a bucket. Maybe get a little handful of grass. Put it in there. It keeps the water from spilling when you carry it, primarily. Just like that. Put some apples in there, it flavors it. Then just get a, a scoop of, uh, this is a senior safe choice feed. Put that in there, like I said, flavors of water, get some their vitamins. Get some alfalfa pellets. Once again, get some to want the water. It's very important that horses have water in the winter because they stop drinking. If it's the time of the month for them to have their psyllium, put psyllium in there too. So while you're making up your soup, feed your horses in a busy feeder. Or hay bag, whatever you want to call them. Get good quality alfalfa. We use a stack alfalfa. Maybe put a little bit of grass in there if it's too stemmy. And then soak their food. Soak it in water. Flip it over. Make sure it's soaked. That way they get more water too, simply by drinking their, I mean, eating their food. Also, we feed them in smaller meals. Sometimes we do four meals a day. If you get a lot, make sure that you're not overfeeding. But they need the fuel for the heat and the warmth to keep themselves warm. Remember, they need the water so they don't colic. These are our boys. This is Frosty. That's Cody. Cody is, I think he's 15 or 16. Cody's 14 or, or Frosty's 14 or 15. They're just good horses. They take care of us all year long. They're worth taking care of also. I don't want colic. I don't want a vet bell for them. They just love this stuff. I give them soup at least three times a day when it's freezing out and it's wet out. It's the only way to make sure that they're getting enough water. Here you go, bud. Also, another thing that we give our horses, we give them uh, life data for their feet. Sparrier's formula, double strength. They love it. They don't have shoes. They don't have any problems with that at all. Here you go, handsome. So basically, I'll run through it one more time. We get bucket. Small bucket's fine. Put in a little bit of uh, basically flavoring and get their vitamins or supplements. Put some apples in it if you want. If you don't want it, don't put apples in. Stand back there, bud. So you can see how happy he is. And these guys have been around all night here. It's freezing. You can see it snowed here. And they're not all jacked up. They know they're going to get fed. They know they're going to get plenty of water for the day. They don't have any policy problems. I'm not a vet. not a professional. This is just what we do. We've had friends ask us, how do we keep our horses from colicking? Basically, is it? Make sure they get their work. They're worth it. It's worth putting your time in. These guys give you so much. It doesn't hurt to give them something back. All right, thank you very much.